hey friends welcome to my channel in today's video i'm gonna take you through how to install Parrot os security linux in virtual box so before starting that for those who are not very new to my channel please don't forget to like to subscribe to comment and to click on the clock so that you're not gonna miss any video to come so for the start we gonna first of all explain what is mean Parrot Parrot OS, which is free and open source learners distribution based on Debian testing design for security expert, developer and privacy aware people. It includes a full portable arsenal for IT security and digital forensic operation. It also includes everything you need to develop your own program or project or protect your privacy while surfing on the net. Parrot is available in the security and home edition. You're gonna see that later on. Even for virtual machine and also Docker. The operating system shipped with default with either Mate, KDA or XFCE only home edition and desktop environment. So I'm gonna explain to you more in details when before we do the installation the requirement is very simple and straightforward so basically you need to have your window 11 installed your virtual box or vmware installed with two or three cpu you also need four gig ram and uh, at least minimum of 50 gig of our drive and also download the Parrot OS version through the actual website, the official website. Make sure you select whichever you think that you're going to be confident, but I really advise you to go for Mate or security version of it. Parrot OS hold a full transferable arsenal for IT security and digital forensic service. Still, it also holds everything you need to develop your own program and preserve what you need to do for your system. Similarly, with Android or pre-installed tool, you get a chance to work on self and identify over the web. It's actually free and open source you can see source code and customize it as per your requirement it's lightweight so the power os operating system has demonstrated to be remarkably lightweight and run immensely active even on the ancient device or old pc or laptop or concise resources it's really secure it's always updated always released and worldly sandboxes based on debian base security oriented distribution featuring a collection of utility design for penetration testing computer forensic reverse engineering hacking privacy cryptography first let's go to google from our browser then find our Parrot os download so once you're there it's gonna direct us straight away to our official uh, website where we're gonna download our Parrot OS. Once we're there, just select the appropriate uh, download you need for your experience. So this Home Edition and Security or Met. So whatever you think that you're confident with it, so don't hesitate to try it. Have fun and discover what you think is gonna be more relevant. To so check around, there's a community link, there's a Parrot HTB download that we're gonna have time to check around to see and read to understand what we're gonna do for our installation so once we're ready we're gonna go to our virtual machine to create a new image for it so just select the location where you download your, your image click on it and click OK so everything is really gonna fire 
So click on start. The machine gonna really kick off. You may have like an error message sometime, like this one that I put on the screen. Sometimes it happens like this. So what you need to do is just check out if all your parameters are redefined. Really fine. So as I say, make sure that you got a right, a correct. Uh, you select the Linux and make sure you select the Debian 64 bit. So and the memory need to be minimum 4 gig but you can pull up to whatever you want to do and the hard drive one you can leave it as a, a 20 to 80 as you just in like follow what i put on the screen then this time double check again your processor if it need to be just put it to two uh, uh cpus and put this one to the under 28 as a maximum so once you're happy about it yeah you click on bad directional on both sides yeah bad directional so you can drag and drop from your os and uh, the cpu need to be two So basically check out if it's anything you need to change and uh, if you're happy just go and grab your ISO image again and this time it's gonna work so once it's done so what you need to do is just to fire up your machine your virtual box and then the installation gonna begin very soon yes select this one and wait for a minute because it may take some time and uh, follow step by step and don't do anything else otherwise you're gonna get lost totally so click on the icon on the left yes this one is gonna fire up your installation so this is it welcome to calamares install for part OS 4.1 so then select the region which is in my case i select uh, in europe so click on next yeah your keyboard whatever it is is french or whatever just click next on it and select the first option and which is gonna be the entire uh, disk so far so click on next on that and try to fill out as much information as you can so i'll let you fill that part once it's ready just click next confirm And your installation gonna fire up. It won't take uh, more than an hour to be honest. It's depending on the fast or the speed of your internet connection and your machine as well. So yeah, so just be patient and you're gonna enjoy it. So I will speed up and uh, you can see it's all done already. So what you do now is the machine possibly gonna be show you all the information you're looking for so just click on that it's gonna reboot and you got your Pirate OS Linux Debian installed on your virtual box machine so just put the login and the password you really gonna enjoy what tool you're gonna see with uh, this wonderful machine
so now you can check out all the tools and find out which one is really interesting to you and which one you can practice safely and uh, privately with no any problem at all so this is quite good too and uh, this is really this is a quality alternative of Kali Linux so if you didn't check my video about Kali Linux to take the time to check it as well I explain how to install it from one to the hand I mean step by step so check it out some tools that are really in Kali Linux they may not be in Parrot OS so just try to compare it and uh, as a pen tester or a red teamer or any cyber security professional these tools here really gonna help you a lot but be patient sometimes it takes a really long time to learn This is almost the end of our video. Today's video was actually how to install Parrot OS on your virtual box. So if you really liked my video, so don't forget to subscribe, to comment below, and to let me know what you think you can do for the next video. So that be said, I'm gonna finish it now and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you to the next video to come. I'll let you enjoy the last bit.